in this video we are going to see Morley DXC panel connecting with Morley repeater panel so here first we see the terminals on the panel side here the first two terminals from the left hand side first two terminal is the RS485 terminal which is the communication port of the panel A and B as mentioned here and second pin is the second connector is the 24 volt DC output from the panel can be used to connect my repeater panel. So these are the two terminals. So RS485 communication second pin is for the 24 volt DC output to power up my repeater panel. These are the two connectors normally we use. So here also when you talk about the power supply there are plus minus and plus minus four pins are mentioned here. The first two pins is uninterrupted power supply the other two pins are interrupted power supply when you talk about the interruption like when you reset the panel this second pin will get disconnect and then will get the power so but in the first two pin the power will not get interrupt even if you reset the panel so that is why we always recommend to use first plus and minus terminal on the panel side so now if you see on the connector on the repeater panel side repeater panel if you see this is the repeater panel board and here this is the terminal point where you have to connect the power as well as rs485 so if you see here uh, it's a 10 pin connector in here the first and second pin is the power input where which is a 24 volt dc power we here the first pin is 0 volt or ground second pin is 24 volt pin you need you need to connect the power from the panel or you can connect with a separate 24 volt DC power supply 2 amps power supply so the pin number 7 and 8 is B and A terminal on the RS485 communication which will be get connected with the panel so now we see how to connect this so if you see here A and B and the repeater side you see B and A so how to connect from panel side A should connect with the repeater side B and from panel side B should connected on the repeater side A pin on the board so it's like a cross connection so I'm connecting those terminals here and second we need to connect the power also so this is the power terminals so here the first pin is a 0 volt and second pin is a 24 volt DC and the seventh pin is B this, this pin is get connected with A terminal on the panel side and the eighth pin which is A mentioned as A will connected on the B terminal on the panel side now we will see the other details on the repeater side what are the other parameters need to be set on the repeater side if you see here there is a jumper available which is called termination jumper by default it will be in termination off position so in a project if we have only one panel with one repeater you need to remove this jumper and put it in on condition put it in on position so so why i need this so this is this indicate that this is the last communication device on the rs485 port so if we have two repeater in a project first repeater it should be in termination off position and the last repeater it should be in on condition in a scenario you have if we have only one repeater you need to remove the uh, termination off jumper and put it in on condition that is the first one second thing is the addressing part here if you see there are eight dip switches are available to set the repeater address so here since it is my first repeater i am setting the first dip switch button in on position remaining or or in off position these are the two settings you need to do on the repeater side now you can switch on the panel and the panel will show the default fault whatever faults are available the same data will be get updated on the repeater panel also so 
to getting this data you have to set one more setting on the panel side which is nothing but you need to press this arrow button the display will come here like this so press action button number five panel will ask the password the password is 9898 and enter ok button the panel will display press 7 for commission it will ask to press ok to memory unlock press ok and go to general options by pressing 1 here you will get a option called number of repeater so number of repeater correctly you will get an option here by default it will be zero to change since you are connected one and repeater you need to change that click ok you it will be comes on edit mode you can give as one using the keypad and click ok so once you set this you can come back by pressing that arrow button zero to exit you can come back by using arrow button and you can exit from or if you, you can from exit from the main menu so now whatever details showing on the panel will be get reflected on the repeater panel side so when we talk about the communication part from panel to repeater there are two runoff cables are required the first cable is for rs485 communication the recommended cable is two core to state pair 1.5 square mm shielded cable so the maximum cable length is 800 meters and there should be separate two core cable for power supply it is not advisable to use a four core cable for this communication power should run on a separate cable so we used to run two run of two core cable one two core is for power another two core is for communication rs485 communication so for rs485 communication we have to use 1.5 square mm two core twisted pair shielded cable with the maximum distance of 800 meters 